Well, we've been getting just the slightest hint of fall like weather recently, of course, until today. For me, though, that brings comfort food to mind. To, to satisfy that craving, I have the perfect guest recipe in today's Brittany's Bites. Well, this is another fun day where we have a guest recipe for the segment, and this one comes once again from Shelly DeRoberts. You may recall a few weeks ago, we made a summer quinoa salad. That was her idea too. She said, I loved watching you make that one, so make this one. I said, sure thing. So here we go. Fresh tomato pasta, great for the summer. I've already got some onions softening here in some olive oil. They're just about good to go. I wanted to get them started because then we're gonna um, mince in one clove of garlic. So I'm gonna do that. And you don't want garlic to cook too much because if it burns, it's over. You've ruined the whole dish. So. We're gonna get this moving right along as soon as I put this in here. Basically, we're just gonna stir it up and only cook that for about a minute before we add the rest. Of course, the star of this is gonna be those fresh tomatoes. We want, um, Shelly said that we should do about, I think she said 12 ounces. So um, I kind of had to make that happen with two containers, about one and a half. So that's what I did. And she said you can use either grape or cherry tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. I've already rinsed them off and cleaned them. They're good to go. And we're gonna put them in whole. And then we're gonna wait for them to burst. And she says you can help them along with a fork or a potato masher, which I do have. But you're gonna wanna put a lid on it and just let it get going. And then we'll add some of our other ingredients. All right, so the garlic it's been going about as much as we want it to go. Pour in those lovely, lovely tomatoes. So once we get it sort of mixed up and get the tomatoes coated a little bit, I'm gonna put on the lid and let this go for 10 or 15 minutes until those tomatoes start to burst. And if it starts going too long and they're not bursting, like I said, you can help them along. So we'll do that. I've got my lid right here. We're gonna let it cook. Okay, let's check on those tomatoes. Let's lift the lid and take a look. It smells fantastic and it looks great too. I did help it along with that potato masher and it absolutely worked. And now it's all coming together with the onions and the garlic and the tomatoes that are smooshed and their juices have run out and it just smells fantastic in here. Okay, so while that was all happening, I boiled some pasta and I found cute little trotole. I think that's how it's pronounced. There are these cute little twist pots pasta. So that is already good to go, but before we add that, we're gonna add a couple more things. So I just have some prepared pesto. You can make your own, especially if you have an overflowing garden of basil this year, but I happen to really actually like this brand. So, oh, and the pesto smells amazing. So I'm gonna do three heaping <laughs> spoonfuls because I really like pesto. All right, oh. Smelling great. I'll just give that a quick little stir, get that mixed in. This is one can of drained and rinsed can cannellini beans. I love beans of all sorts. Really, really love these white beans. You'll see them in a lot of Italian dishes. Put those in. This looks so good, and I can see myself wanting to make this a lot. <laughs> and frankly, I would just eat it as is right now with the beans and the tomatoes. But, you know, when you can add pasta, why not? So this is eight ounces of pasta. That's about half of a package. It's been sitting there for a little while, so I'm gonna have to break it up. And I did, one thing that you always wanna do, I did reserve some pasta water, just in case you get this mixed together and the sauce is a little too thick, or you wanna thin it out, or you just wanna create a little bit more sauce. All right, this looks and smells fantastic. I do think, because maybe I was a little bit over the eight ounces of pasta, I'm gonna add in a little bit of the pasta water. Very messily, as usual. Oh, all right, this smells so great. I think we're done. I'm gonna scoop some into the bowl here and do the final little touches. Oh yeah. Make sure we're getting a little bit of everything. And then I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle of Parmesan. As much or as little as you want. And then 
some pine nuts, just for a little crunch. And there you have fresh tomato pasta, courtesy of Shelly de Roberts. I know I'm already a fan and I haven't even tasted it yet. Cheers. Hint, it was very good. I did taste it. Well, if you have a picture of one of the recipes that you've made of mine that you'd like to share, I've had plenty of those and I always enjoy getting those. Or if you have an idea for a future segment, you'd like me to make one of your recipes, hey, text us at 614-460-3345 or you can find me on social media.